Now let's look at entering a game and then saving it to a database in Hiax Chess Explorer. So what I've done here, I've opened the database My Games that I created in an earlier video, which obviously as you can see there's no uh, games in this database, there's nothing in the notation window. We want to start entering that game, so it might be, say for instance, a game you've uh, seen someone else play, a game in a book, or even a game you've played down at the local club, and you've got it written down on a piece of paper. Well, the, the simplest, most straightforward way to do that straight away is just to enter those moves on the board. And there's a few different ways you can do that. You can click on a piece, drag it to the square you want to go to, uh, just simply like that. You'll notice actually that when I hover the mouse over a piece, uh, one of the squares gets highlighted in yellow. In this case, it's the F3 square. If I hover over the bishop, you can see um, the C4 square is highlighted. I'm not actually clicking anything on the mouse, I'm just holding the mouse over that. That is because if you now press the button, it'll go straight to that, uh, the piece will go, press your left, left mouse button, the piece will go straight to that square. You can cycle through the available squares by clicking the right mouse button. So I haven't pressed anything yet, but if I don't want to put it to C4, say if I want to put it to B5, something like that, I can just press the right mouse button, and you can see that it's cycling through all the different squares. Um, once we get it to the square that we want to put it to, just click the left mouse button, and there you go. So it's very simple. Whatever uh, button you're pressing, uh, if you press the left one, it'll go to the square that's highlighted, or the right one will change the highlighted square. Just different ways of inputting moves. But anyway, once you've done that, once you've inputted the game, uh, as you might like to uh, do that, whatever you're doing, you need to save that game. And you'll see this important button has just uh, appeared here when you start entering moves, the Save Modified Game. And we're going to click that button now, which brings up the Save Game dialog. And we have a whole host of different tags that you can fill in. I would suggest just as a minimum you at least fill in something for the players of the white and black pieces. So you might say put in the names of the players. Um, and you can set ELO ratings for them, the, the tournament information, the dates, or even the game information and the result. Um, you can fill in as much or as little as, as you like, but obviously, as I say, when you're looking at the database, you'll need to know what game it is that you're actually looking at, so it's always a good idea. Even if you're just doing opening prep, you could, for instance, say, um, you could put change the name of the player in the black piece to opening prep, anything like that, or a specific opening, all sorts of things you can do. If you're entering the date, if you click this little button here, it'll bring up a calendar so you can scroll through, pick any date you like, that's a nice, easy way of entering a date. Uh, but when you're ready to go, all you need to do is click OK. You'll see suddenly now the game has appeared in the notation with the uh, names of the players and any more information that you entered. And now it's also appeared in the Games Explorer as a selectable game in the database. So once you select that, you can play through the game, clicking through the notation or just clicking through the moves on the board. Uh, it's really that simple just to enter and create a game using Hiarx Chess Explorer.